गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज माय डिजाइन स्कूल वेर आई स्टडीड कॉल द आईडीसी स्कूल ऑफ डिजाइन नाउ अर्लियर इट वाज द इंडस्ट्रियल डिजाइन सेंटर व्हेन आई वाज स्टडीइंग नाउ इट्स गॉट यू नो मल्टीपल प्रोग्राम्स एंड यू नो इट्स बिकम अ स्कूल नाउ विद यू नो लाइक विद बी डेस एम डेस पीएचडी एंड ऑफ कोर्स अ माइनर प्रोग्राम फॉर इंजीनियर्स सो वी आर अ फुल सर्कल नाउ आई स्टडी इन द ईयर नाइनटीन एंड देन यू नो एज सुन एज आई यू नो Uh, uh like finished my education i was uh, you know uh, placed in lnt and lasen and tubro was one of the best things which happened in my life because you know lasen and tubro is known for imagineering remember they write those big billboards lnt is about imagineering so a designer in an engineering enterprise can do wonders right that's how you know like uh, i could really you know do uh, uh, do well and learn the innovation process so i have learned all my design in the school of design and all my innovation in in, in lasen and tubro and of course then after i you know like uh, sort of uh, uh, came back uh, uh, to uh, uh, academics in iit delhi uh, where i taught for 6 years uh, after my 6 years stint in lnt i uh, learned uh, the aspects of education very strongly because teaching innovation is very different from practicing innovation that is a most important thing which i would like to clearly mention to all of you and when you practice when you teach innovation uh, you have to work on all the nuances on how innovation can happen and of course i call my uh, you know lecture uh, humanizing technology because what are we doing we want to make sort of technology you know like uh, uh, work for the people technology work for the users we want to be empathetic to the users so that you know our people whatever technology is around us is actually you know helping us support helping us take things forward and then you know i came back to the design school uh, where i studied uh, in 2001 and i wanted to sort of uh, you know uh, establish a design innovation center uh, you know take uh, things in the area of research and i'm very fortunate uh, with uh, my two alumnus Uh, i was in the us in 2005 after i joined idc and these two alumni are you know like wonderful entrepreneurs uh, sudhakar shinoy and suresh shinoy you write to them they would always reply to you and they are like passionate about uh, design passionate about manufacturing passionate about technology so, you know these wonderful alumni who went to the area of 1970 Uh, you know to the uh, 1971 to the us and uh, established this company called the imc uh, where they where they do a lot of you know the new things what we call data science and all that they did in the year you know like 1971 they work for the federal government they work for all the government agencies in the us and i must tell you when i was there in the us they had given such a stamp of iit alumni there in washington dc अगर कंप्यूटर का मेंटेनेंस भी करना पड़े ना आई आई टी को बुलाएंगे यार आई का कंपनी को बुलाएंगे ऐसे लाइक दैट टाइप ऑफ वंडरफुल यू नो एंटरप्राइज दे स्टार्टेड एंड देन मैंने मेन देम इन इन 2005 इन वाशिंगटन डीसी इन अ पैन आई इवेंट स्टूडेंट्स आई मस्ट टेल यू दिस पैन आई इवेंट एज अव फोरिया वेर ऑल द एलमनाई फ्रॉम अक्रॉस द आई मीट ऑलियर ईच आई वाज लाइक ए साइलो दे वुड बी वेरी वेरी क्लोज नेट but then when all the iit alumni met my god they realized that no other university in the world has contributed to the economic prosperity or to the entrepreneurship activities in the us other than the iit alumni the president actually you know sort of uh, you know uh, 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 called the pan iit team and he facilitated them saying that the contribution of iit in building us to what it was uh, you know is because of iit alumni so you can see how entrepreneurship can lead and every big company you know every big university had our alumni you know teaching or researching or enterprising and of course as i told you i told them i have got a dream Uh, to set up a innovation studio and both the alumni were very happy they immediately sanctioned 100000 dollars you know like uh, and they said you know you, you have to bring in uh, you know like very good funding back from the ministry back from everywhere so that's how you know i'm sitting in this shinoy innovation studio we built it in 2008 uh, and then you know like uh, both uh, suresh and sudhakar kept on visiting us multiple times and you know we had a lot of inputs from them so here in the innovation studio you know we call ourselves innovation by design in fact you have to design the innovation process we hardly do that because innovation is not all easy it's one of the toughest things because you are head up on the wall blank wall you have to create paths 
why entrepreneurship is so difficult why only people who can dream become entrepreneurs because they dream they don't look at the problems if you start looking at problems you can never be an entrepreneur so the biggest thing is you dream an entrepreneur dreams are i will take my product to the market i will want to solve this problem so then your you know uh, enterprise starts and that is the whole best thing that you design the innovation process and then i keep saying if you have design thinking it will help you a lot in the entrepreneurship and innovation and hence i say it's a it's a you know a, a loop where you know you design the innovation process and you use design for innovation and entrepreneurship and that's the key for any any development so that's our logo and of course i'm going to show you some key projects and you know like uh, also take you through some multiple examples my first case study in my phd was to work on innovative idea generation right and for innovative idea generation we use this technique called synectics in synectics what you do is you actually take you know uh, analogies from other areas to come up with new projects and new ideas product ideas when you take up analogies it's very easy to build ideas so let me quickly show you you know this very interesting case study so the all, the whole bunch of students were grouped into you know uh, 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 groups of 4 4 and they were you know they were i think five or six uh, student groups uh, and each group uh, was supposed to you know go and uh, you know uh, go into the departments uh, of iit delhi and ask them if they can design this wonderful next generation shaving device for men where the shaving device is as simple as wiping my hands and my hair is gone remember in idea generation and dreaming you have to dream right you have to dream the best project so if i you know it's as simple as wiping and my you know hair from the face should be gone shaving device the next generation shaving device and one of one team of students went to my neighboring lab uh, in the in instrument design development center which was the physics lab professor chandrashekar was the you know professor in charge there uh, and he said you know wow it's very very simple eczema laser it's very easy to chop off the hair you know from anywhere at very fine you know quality and there you see analogy first analogy technology so you have a nice wand with a laser there look at the sketch which is which is you know a uh, nice silly shaving away the hair like the way you wipe your you know face very interesting right and on the other side students went to the biotechnology and biosciences department and they said wow it's so simple we can you know we can have the best bacteria uh, you know uh, to eat away the hair and there you can see the small sketch students and colleagues the bacteria eating away the hair and so you have a applicator and you apply and the and the hair is gone and that's more easier than wiping your you know wiping your face so they have to get the next technology and of course my colleagues in the physics said dar ye to maya hath ka khel hai what is there in removing hair from you know from your face uh, we ultrasonically shake the hair so that the hair just breaks at its root and there we have the ultrasonic mechanism and the brick mechanism and you have ultrasonic shaving device and then of course our colleagues in mechanical engineering said are we can cut slabs of steel 5 mm to 10 mm steel using water jet and what is this hair on the face you know we'll have water jet cleaning mechanism and you just go to your bathroom you 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 know uh, sort of you know wipe this water jet you know on your face and the hair is gone fabulous and of course our you know the best department chemical engineering people said oh we have so many patches and you know chemicals which can prevent the growth of hair first of all why to get hair at all so that's also possible so isn't it interesting that you know like if you if you just look around as analogical interpretations you can come up with fabulous ideas and all these ideas are possible and all these ideas today we have products for all these ideas and these ideas you know came up in the year you know like uh, uh, as early as 95 and then you know we were looking at a context of gillet which was adding blade on blade you know gliding on gliding you know and then try, trying to make the money and spending crores of rupees on building you know uh building the machines which are the size of this you know auditorium here uh, where you know like they, they would have this you know automatic blade strip coming from one side polymers coming from another side and all the injection molding mixed with the steel machine mixed with the grinding machines and together fat 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 the blades are coming out and getting packed and you're getting all over the world so that's a lot of engineering there 
So you're digging deep, you're not digging wide. If you dig wide across technologies, you all these technologies possible. And if that much money was invested in any of these, we would have had a new shaving device by now. So you got the whole idea of creative ideation, uh, students. Any of your problems, if you want to get creative ideas, you ask at least five people, five different enterprises, five different. And that's what is the analogical representation. Synectics teaches us that to be creative, we have to, you know, put the watchman in our mind to sleep. The watchmen don't let us creatively think. They make us think deep in the same area because, remember, the mind is very smart. It doesn't want to tax itself too much. It wants to take the path of least resistance. It also wants to go. Just remember, if you have to, like, for example, if I have to go to my house from my department, the school of design to my house in, you know, like uh, Aravali, I always take the same path. That is what is the thing. Because when I went on that path, there was no accident. There was nothing. So it's easy. So I'm not safe. So I keep going on that path. So safe path. Why all of us industries don't innovate? Safe path. It is safe. The mind doesn't let you think new. If it thinks new, it is too much of work. It could be risk. So we are trained like that. The human mind, human evolution is trained like that to be safe. So you have to untrain it. And that untraining can happen by analogical associations. A lot of my design students use direct analogies. If they're designing a water bottle, they take, you know, they take inspiration for water waves, for example, and come up with this wonderful bottle, which is, which is, you know, inspired by waves. If, if I am designing a letterbox post box for India Post, I take the inspiration from a beak of a bird. So the beak of a bird sort of. You know, because the, this big bird feeds the small bird. Oh, then I don't, I don't need to tell people where to post their letters. Things like that. When there is rain, for example, all the letterboxes were rusting. Then I said, they should be sloping. Yaar. Who is rocket science? Thodna hai? All the houses of the roofs are all sloping. Why should there be a flat roof? So there's a sloping roof. So no water stays over there. Water is getting inside the letterbox and all the letters are getting wet. Make a cap design. So all my you know sides of my letterbox are capped. So, pani jayega hi nahi Cap na tiffin box. Analogy, simple, simple analogies. In all my success stories in innovation are all because of the simple analogies. In fact, I have a PG student, Sharmila Sinha. You know what she did? She said, don't even take direct analogies. Take analogies which are completely alien. For example, if you're designing a car, think about a mobile phone. It looks foolish, right? I'm designing a car, yaar, mobile phones, I'm going inspiration. Lunga. If I'm looking at interface design of a new car, I look at interface design of my phone. Oh, how do I open a phone? Oh, now it is face recognition. Oh, I can think of face recognition in my car door. Why should there be a key? Just now it's already happening. But I'm just saying, it doesn't need to be the same product. It can be a completely different product. It will be a completely different product. And then we realized, that the creativity jumps by four times. You take direct analogies like, you know, like I was telling you, I was designing my uh, sort of, uh, you know, like hinge for my door of the uh, letterbox. And I took inspiration from my spectacle hinge, for example. This is direct analogy. But then, we, if you consider completely indirect analogy, it's not related at all. So, for example, can I design a hinge from the leaf? Oh, how to design Oh, the leaf goes in the breeze up and down. So can I have some flexible rubber which will, you know, flex the door? That's complete. See, that's more creative than creating a hinge in the letterbox. And then what happened? This rubber is full length. It will not even leak. Water also will not go in. See, I got double advantage. But I've not done it. I've taken this analogy and I have hinges there. So if I put a hose, water can go in. So that's what is the creative ideation. And I think uh, we can go forward now. So then what happened? I finished this, uh, you know, I thought that Ari, I've done such wonderful work in the industry for seven years and PhD is only five years. So why they can't give me a PhD with the story of the Z-Line? So I went to, my, uh, to the everlasting credit of my guide, Professor Sushil from IIT Delhi. He said, Professor Chakravarti, you've done some wonderful work, but that can't count as your main research. It can only count as your exploratory research to begin your research. So I analyzed my you know, whole study of how I built the petrol pump, what happened in the industry, what type of collaborations came up. And then we realized, my God, collaboration is the key to innovation. So my whole topic became collaborative methodology for innovative idea generation. 
then what happened i finished this course of this case study then as i said i've done this case study where we collaborated with professors from other departments and you know we came up with this you know nice ideas and remember in research you all do you have to look at a small part of your research and research is very narrow so my research is narrow to the level of only idea generation because idea generation is a seed to innovation right your idea is very important so we said okay sir i have come up with this multiple case studies five case studies the they we selected three three ideas uh, you know three technologies and went to the professors again and i must confess with you that when we went to the central library of iit delhi we had the complete research papers and technology needed to build this uh, laser device it's all available within two days the students came up with all the research papers of how the laser dump will be created what type of laser to use how the laser will work what will happen how to put in safety features in that everything so that is the type of speed you can work on even on the innovation level if you come from the research point of view of course we picked up all that and then they created this wonderful product you know the the uh, the laser saving device and it was looking like a hair dryer it was big and then i said we are all design students so they said are this can't be you know this is not our first thing where we said wiping over the face your hair should go so then we dis- then we came up with this you know interesting idea of separating the laser production and the laser application and then there's a there's a you know on your you know like wash basin you have this hanging laser uh, you know generator and you have this you know small uh, like your you know small uh, you know uh, wiper where the laser is in your hand and you know, there's a wire connected to that and you actually you know sort of uh, you know clean and the two part you know uh, technology uh, you are you're, you're there so then uh, in, in iits and um, some of you have done phd you know there is some there's something called the annual progress seminars and uh, you know i thought you know uh, this itself took me a, w- one year to analyze and make things happen then the professor said that okay this is very nice but it's completely academic you need to work on something where you taken a lot of knowledge from across the world across the country from research papers and come up with a methodology which could be applicable to industry then being you know naive as i told you you know uh, having the confidence of industry i said i'm going to do live projects which is never you know unheard of because live project in research is very difficult and some of my friends in the research area said you know like uh, chaku your you know like your phd will take at least a decade at that time i was not really present to them i said no i am going to work on live projects because i would work with industry i would make them part of the innovation process and i will take this forward so let me show you that one part here so that was this wonderful project of uh, midco petrol pump which is what you see over here in the sketch and i call this seed innovation so you know like what is interesting is after pet- uh, designing the petrol pump the uh, the ceo of midco company which was not able to sell any petrol pumps of their you know design came back to me and said you know you designed this product when you were in lnt now you are a professor you design one more product for me i said wow this is a good idea for my phd so we took it up uh, and like you know to the everlasting you know credit of my student uh, mr manoj dubey who is an entrepreneur now he has a wonderful furniture company in uh, bombay now and we started this as a student project and as my research uh, topic too and uh, you know we went uh, in that journey and here it is you know this is the you know product we designed and that was his first prototype which was there and this product you know then later on uh, luckily you know manoj dubey joined the company he worked there for i think nearly 7 years and then we produced these uh, you know pumps in a very very big way actually then i realized that it was already 6 years and there's something called the product life cycle and again i'm very fortunate for some of our top management of lnt who used to always say that when you design a new product when you launch a new product you have to obsolete your old product and we used to give a life cycle to a project and my product life cycle was 6 years and it already crossed its life cycle it was doing so well even at the end of its life cycle of 6 years that the you know uh, that the company was not ready to shelf it and design a new product so we started designing and of course we came up you, and the mechanism was same analogies so we took inspiration from the nokia mobile phone which had this big antenna on the top aur display bada hota hai phone mein to hamara bhi display bada ho gaya लीनियर फॉर्म हो गया तो लीनियर फॉर्म वॉज वेरी यूजफुल बट मुझे अभी बताइए यार हम तो कहाँ का फोन ले लिया एनोलॉजी वी टेक एन एनोलॉजी ऑफ ए फोन एंड आई गॉट ट्रेमडस अमाउंट ऑफ बेनिफिट्स फॉर एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द पेट्रोल पम्प लेट मी टेल यू बिगिन विद नंबर वन 
Number one advantage of taking the hose from the top was my liters per minute, my delivery rate improved by nearly 10 to 15 liters per minute. And liters per minute means my petrol pump is doing more business, my petrol station is doing more business, they will change their petrol pump day one. Just because of laminar flow through these pipes which are going from the top and coming down. Number two, because the hose is coming from the top, the person who is actually filling petrol is not even doing 90% of his work. Earlier, he had to drag the hose with full petrol inside, which is nearly 3 kilos or 4 kilos of petrol inside the hose. And now, all the job is doing being done by the top. So, extreme user convenience for the operator. Large display. Tell me what's the advantage of a large display? When my car is parked very far off from the petrol pump also, when I look back, I'm able to see the display. It's not hidden. Earlier, there used to be little narrow openings, so both muskilo tha, aage aake dikna padta. So, excellent user interface. A slim, a slim petrol pump, wow, very good. I can save space in my petrol station. Instead of four petrol pumps, I can actually have maybe five in the same space because my footprint is very low. Can you imagine? Ye ka Nokia phone and engineering advantages, user-friendly advantages, business advantages. Don't think it's by accident or don't think it's by fluke. This is happening every time to my projects. It's not once or twice. Because you're concerned about your project. See, the project is not happening out of the blue. You've taken that inspiration an analogy which is indirect, but your mind is actually working for your project, right? So when you develop concepts, they automatically build advantages. And this petrol pump was actually so, so popular. And of course, you know, the bonnet opens like a car bonnet, you know, bonnet falls down, the assemblies are very easy, the, you know, the post placements are very easy, you got very good sort of, you know, like uh, uh, gaps inside, uh, it's a chassis design, so it's a silent product when compared to LNT. We had, at every level, it was innovative. Remember this one advantage, LNT had their own CNC machines. By the time it was 96, 97, there were 100 vendors in Bombay who were doing CNC fabrication. So the advantage is lost. The competitive advantage of the big company was no longer there. It became a competitive disadvantage because when I went to vendors, they gave me at much less price than building a product in-house. Are you following some of the guys who are from industry? So don't think your competitive advantage will remain forever dear. Always be agile in thinking. Always come with new thoughts. Always look at new products. Look at our alumni Bhavish. He is doing very well with Ola uh, cars. But now he's coming up with scooters which are... He's, he's entering the market of scooter, electric scooters. Because he's no today's, you know, traffic is going to be terrible and people may want to, you know, zip up in a scooter. And of course, environment friendly scooters, a lot of, you know, advantages. So he's got into scooters. Now he's going to go into cars which are electric cars maybe. In fact, he wanted to do cars, but I don't know why he went. But last time I met him, he said, I'm to, uh, you know, we were looking at cars, but suddenly we see that he's making scooters. In fact, very interesting, Bhavesh came to IIT Bombay and I stood in a queue, which was how long? The queue was around half a mile long to meet him. And he's our student, right? 2003, 2004, he passed out and I met him once when he was a student. But then, when I met him, it was wonderful. He was like feeling very, you know, like, uh, sorry, so, sir, why are you standing in line? He was not standing in the line. He was standing in the line. Interesting, no? So, you're learning back from your students. The students are the ones who are doing wonderful work in the market. So, I'm always ready to learn. I'm always ready to learn. And I'm always ready to practice new things. You know, learn from the students. So, I love to meet students. If students come, if they come, then they do the whole work. Because they are the ones who are the future. It's a big advantage to have interns who are young, who are coming from colleges. They're bringing you new knowledge. Listen to them intensely and implement whatever they're saying. I tell all the industry this a lot. It's very, very important. Anyway, so, so then like finally we got runaway success in this petrol pump. And of course, my Z line also had tremendous amount of advantages. 75% cheaper than the earlier product in sheet metal cost. 
my earlier product had such a you know lot of sheet metal that was a huge box and we reduced and at that time we were importing uh, sheet metal from japan and of course it had user convenient display panels it had wonderful innovative shape our shape was so popular that all across the world people stood up but will will usa buy my pump yaar wahan par to multi hose pumps hain wahan par to teen char fuel bechte hain self service hai to bilkul bhi ka nahi they didn't want to look at this product yaar unko ye to bahut pichra hua product lag raha tha single hose kaun sa zamane ka baat kar raha hai 30 saal pehle you know for them they used to this very refined form na seedha seedha boxes badhiya hoses are kya bana diya they didn't want this pump at all but in the indian market my god it became the largest selling pump in one decade kyunki humne isme itne badhiya badhiya features dale jaise for example when you trigger the nozzle pehle ke pumpon mein na jab aap nozzle ko trigger karoge jab aapka flow ho raha hai thoda rokoge to andar ka sensor aise vibrate karta tha when the sensor is vibrating electron engineers will know the optical sensor will count two pulses for one and then you get less fuel aapko meter dikhayega 1 liter par aapko milega 950 ml because he's doing this triggering so i i was like doing my user survey and another very important lesson for all of you let you be from industry or from academics or from entrepreneurship entrepreneurship wale to jante hain customer discovery kitna important hai and how much you need to be with the customer and how much you need to be friends with them and how much you need to stay with your customers for a couple of days to understand how the product is going to work with them so i was you know doing the same thing in the petrol pump because i wanted to you know do thread bare design and i when i stayed on petrol stations i realized it was a cheating karte hain aise so when i back, went back to lnt i told my colleagues yeah can we do something about this you know and then can we put a unidirectional bearing so that this uh, disc the the sensor disc which has the spins and the optical sensor does uh, you know sensing doesn't turn back at all it always goes front even if you trigger it won't go back it will go front can we do this they said ah that's very easy we just imported that bearing unfortunately that time that fine bearing was not available in india we imported that for if i'm you know not mistaken around 25 rupees and that we implemented in the product so my new pump for example in any new product uh, you know like we have to have new materials new technologies wherever possible and contemporary uh, manufacturing very important you can't use something which was used 6 years back a lot of us our mind keeps saying in fact remember students when i was making this product in lnt my my there was something called a product development division which would always think that i would fail and they would keep alternative old material ready for example if i am designing gaskets inspired by maruti car at that time maruti car was in the market and they had wonderful epdm rubber gaskets around fabulous the windshield of the glass would be on a gasket which was made out of epdm and i said i want to use that in my pump i don't want to clamp my pump glasses because they clamp the glasses all the glasses used to break during transit out of 10 pumps four glasses used to break this terrible shame company like lnt sending a pump to the station and then they drop the pump on a tire to unload it and when they open the pump they see that the box is open and then the glass is broken i took inspiration from the cars from the maruti car went to daman got the gasket designed for my specifications and before i could come my my colleagues over there had already bought the old gaskets the rubber you know natural rubber you know like gaskets there saying that in case chakravarti fails we you have to have an option like right? safety remember i was telling you efficiency and safety is a hallmark of any manufacturing enterprise they are right at their level and i am right at my level innovative product can't, and my because of this glass change i saved nearly 3% of the cost of the product and i saved nearly 40% cost of maintenance on site maintenance 40% is huge because not even one glass broke after that in the whole history of the zline pump not even one so these are the things we have to learn you know in our innovation entrepreneurship and problem solving everything is our problem everything that's very very important for example another very simple thing i want to mention to you when you said problem solving these petrol pumps have a meter below and the meter has a small link which goes to the sensor there's a small link the meter is the one which is metering the fuel and it is rotating a small wheel and there's a small link which which transfers this to the to the sensor you know uh, electronic sensor because of you know like casting and defects and things like that the meter housing would shift 
and you know for example the brackets would break because of transit damage or whatever we took inspirations from auto rickshaw suspension at the back i keep watching this auto rickshaws going from the back wo khilte rehte na you know like what is he doing there why is his link not breaking why is his casting not breaking we just implemented the same thing back in our pumps you know what my design team would keep saying are it is that fellow's problem he is not unloading correctly why should we bother this is a big challenge in industry yaar blame koi lene ko taiyar hi nahi hai they will always say it's somebody else's problem design should be able to take every blame if it is not being dis- you know dispatched correctly you solve that problem because it's not possible to solve i can't put a forklift in a rural area where petrol pump is you know like unloaded nobody will spend on a forklift there which is 5% of the cost of a product why will i spend 5% of the cost of a product just to unload the product from the truck and the truck guys will always have some big tires wo tire niche dalta hai dabba niche fekte chala jata hai he can't you know spare his time over there and our people have solved the problem in the automotive industry so we got that rubber link we we we, we mounted all the meter on suspension bushes and my meter is now you know like on the suspension bus and my link never broke my casting never broke and that is not my problem at all i am an industrial designer i'm not even an engineering designer though i am a mechanical engineer i have like trained myself as an industrial designer i only do product design i i look at the external i don't look at strength of materials i don't look at uh, you know like uh, uh, casting uh, you know like processes but i look at organization of the product right so these are the interesting things and you know uh, the the biggest satisfaction is that the auto drivers the second day of operation realized that these petrol pumps are giving you correct fuel they are getting more mileage and you could see queues and queues of auto rickshaws lined up on the z line pumps everywhere in the in bombay and as soon as auto rickshaws lined up other people realized are yahan par petrol acha milta hai and because my shape was novel they then at- attributed to the z line shape giving you better quality of petrol better measure of petrol and you know that's interesting right how a new product feature and form can generate a perception in the users that's giving better and then the whole 6 years the market you know like nobody gave any orders and in the history of indian oil which is a government enterprise indian oil bar petroleum and all these people gave special tenders calling it the z line gasoline dispenser tenders so there's no chance for anybody else to participate because z line was my design registered uh, product so single tender and you know when there is a single tender what happens all the order is given to lnt and in case somebody else wants to you know supply they have to supply the price which lnt is offering and we had already you know because because our overheads are high but even then our product was cost was so less even the small manufacturer which is 100 the size of lnt could not compete with us and could not even give us give the oil company 20% of production even if we were not able to supply at the same price of l1 so that's an interesting journey sorry i'm talking about a lot of business here uh, uh, but you know it's very important for us to understand uh, uh, so there we go so we have you know like the bullet petrol pumps which did very well and of course very interesting after that uh, you know this project came to nid where you know they were requesting uh, uh, Pr- pradeep nawaz who's also our elmas from idc you know like uh, uh, you know said uh, prostakwati like i have this request from ong to design the next generation petrol pumps can we do it together the concept design you know came from uh, you know nid we worked on the product development product detailing and the complete concept design and uh, took it forward and these were the prototypes installed in mysore you know uh, uh, this is the third generation so look at the seal innovation happening and of course you know we had this wonderful project where we had you know display which can go on to the windscreen of the car uh, we had you know like uh, uh, special logos glowing easy maintenance all features you know put together you know uh, all of our learning into one product so just to now tell you about my research journey so of course uh, we you know i was a professor at iit delhi and you know thanks to midcore did so well that the you know like all the oil companies moved on to you know uh, uh, the bullet dispenser after that and of course like my colleague said it took me a long time to finish my phd and it took me 9 years and you know finally we came up with this very very simple model for innovation and entrepreneurship 
What is this model? This model is a collaborative model. All entrepreneurs should have a collaborative model. आपका आइडिया कोई नहीं चुराएगा इट इज नॉट इजी टू टेक एन आइडिया एंड मेक ए प्रोडक्ट प्लीज नेवर बी इन दैट मिथ यू गेट पीपल टूगेदर शेयर रिसोर्सेज शेयर प्रॉफिट्स शेयर रॉयल्टीज अफकोर्स नाउ टूडे वी आर इवन एम्प्लॉयज आर गिवन शेयर्स इन कंपनीज वेन दे आर वर्किंग इन स्टार्टअप्स एंड सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री विच इज ग्रोन सो वेल इन द कंट्री एज टॉट अस दिस नेटवर्क कोलेबरेट यू नो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ दर इज अ प्रोजेक्ट विच कम्स इन दे कोलेबरेट विद सिक्स और सेवन पीपल टूगेदर एंड दे असेंबल दैट एंड गिव दे डोंट मेक न्यू सॉफ्टवेयर एवरी टाइम दे असेंबल इट दे विल पुट थिंग्स टूगेदर दे रैशनलाइज इट बिकॉज दे दे कोलेबरेट दे कोलेबरेट हैविली and how does collaboration happen let me tell you so my whole phd was about generating this model and it's a very very simple model the people who work on innovation the core team of a company has to be given only one job that job of innovation whether it's a new product or a new service or a new enterprise and that is the core team you know when i was doing my phd when i did my survey for my research i found out that the busiest man in the company is the innovation head because he's good in his work but he would be a very very poor innovation manager because he's busy firefighting manufacturing what type of effort he can put in innovation tell me so i'd go back to all these industries tell them i say kabhi mat karo have your innovation manager who is very different who has experience you know where i learned this from i learned this from toyota You know what Toyota did? The top guy, who was the busiest guy, you know, uh, last year, was taken out from the company, and he was put into an an association, or uh, which is uh, like an industrial designers association, or it will be an association of engineering AOTS, you know, association. And what they would do? They would send the association across the world to see what's happening. And this guy came to IDC once, completely free, completely brainstorming. and i asked him were you working on less at toyota i was the head of you know like production then what are you doing now i've got you know they've sent me on this job to see the world to learn to learn from people to learn from perceptions to learn what's happening across the world and then when he goes back he will become the innovation chair in the company and he will take the next level of product for the world he will be the in charge for that we have to learn a lot from japan of course so it's very very important for us to be having a team and you know again bahvesh and ankit from our ola story very clear the two core team the two co-founders were the core team and they of course brought in other people as partners and they all worked 100% on the on the project and some i i, I still remember some of my other tas who were my design tas in idc or uh, did the website for him did the ola site for him it was it was fabulous and but he was just a consultant but the core team is core team the consultants and all are your support team which is outside look at the core team core team is 3 whereas consultant teams can be 6 or 9 they we call it the support team if it's a startup and an enterprise if it's a startup your core team is small your support team is big if it's an enterprise your core team and your support team which is around you is also from your enterprise because the support team will spend around 20% of your time in innovation and then of course you have the networked external team like the way i would tell you about analogies and creative analogies from outside sources your network team will give you phenomenal amount of creative ideas and those are very important they will give you they will only spend 1% of the time in your innovation and they are keen on your innovation because they are your vendors they are your suppliers are your future business ke liye wo apna dekh raha hai so they will be in touch with you and they will you know always come and you know uh, support your activity so such a simple team and i was a consultant to mckinsey mckinsey called me once you know like uh, by they were working on some you know uh, on a large oil company project uh, you know on retail business and they invited me and they said uh, you know prospect would like to see your model and i showed these two simple models you know the composition of the team the function of the team and of course the model of innovation and they were shocked they said how can such a simple model be effective i said simple models are the best implement and then i presented this model for entrepreneurs and you know like with prasanil gupta of national innovation foundation and they was very happy 
because you know this gives a structure to a very simple collaborative effort and we are also mapping the collaborative effort and of course you can map the financial you know efforts also in fact to the everlasting credit of uh, you know amit jere of uh, our atal innovation mission at the ministry of education he recently conducted a hackathon in uh, across the you know uh, institutes and in that hackathon he invited industrial designers from the companies and he offered them 1% royalty can you believe it and i was so happy i would go and meet all these designers who came from industry and what they were doing with the startups for this hackathon maybe only two companies out of 100 came out of that hackathon but never mind you 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 have that credibility because financial inclusion is very important and in fact i must also tell you about poini our ceo of the society for innovation and entrepreneurship it's called sign in iit bombay it's one of the best incubators in the country and i'm sure i think is going to you know uh, be also as good or better than us but we do very very thorough contracts between employees between co-founders between investors and those contracts are the best sort of you know uh, uh, contracts because even if you leave the company after 3 years you still have a stake you put your heart into the company and even when you are outside then you are a friend of the company you are no longer uh, you know uh, hurt in fact you know like uh, uh, poini is a banker and she comes from uh, you know like uh, the banking but she is phenomenal in this and we have got wonderful success stories just with 4 to 5% royalty you know and success of just 5% of the companies and some of them become unicorns now we were able to run the whole you know incubator i was on the board uh, you know just stepped down from the board after th- my 3 year term and it was very very exciting to see this journey and of course the innovation by design journey the most important aspect is the user insight in fact again to the everlasting credit of our you know gdc team gopal krishna deshpande center at iit madras they only do one thing they call it you know evidence based entrepreneurship where is the evidence of your customer when you do a startup very early they put you on a evidence trip where you have to go and spend time with your customers so that's very very you know interesting about user i'm calling it user here because we're about design process but if it's enterprise it's about customer insights from the customer i also told you about new technology be contemporary new technology and you will realize how you know uh, bhavesh and ankit who started the ola road on the success of the smartphone technology if they had come 5 years before they would be nowhere exactly road on the technology and today they are riding on the electric uh, scooter technology see they are not sleeping they are not they are not waiting so that's very very important on how we take new technology forward and remember my lesson on creative ideation be very focused on ideation and keep thinking am i working creatively am i doing things differently am i making sambar the same every day can i make sambar differently and explore and taste sambar in a different way and it will be better than my old sambar can i be creative can i push myself in my industry to be creative can i push my employees to be creative can i push my students to be creative so please ask yourself these questions put the watchman in the brain to sleep when you're working on new ideas when you're coming up with new thinking and of course you know when we are in when we are in pressure of deadline automatically they go to sleep because you have to complete the job right that's why creativity is maximum in war like situations creativity is maximum when there are deadlines so these are all known to us and of course you know in my you know team you can see this user feedback loop where the core team the support team and the external team are all you know uh, interacting with the you know with the customers and the user uh, and the you know users very very collaboratively and very intuitively and you know today you know i w- i started my phd very early at that time internet was pretty slow but today it's much much more easier we got fabulous platforms for collaborative works like for example today we teach our students using the miro boards and like it's really so good each of them is learning from each other in a very very big way and you know all this is happening for our benefit and of course uh, you know this is my very you know interesting slide i call it the sunflower model of innovation sunflower is the innovation 
all the petals are various components of my you know like um, uh, of my enterprise you know uh, and my features like technology user interface you know attributes like cost miniature all the petals and 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 like the sunflower directs towards the sun my innovation flower has to see the user appropriates to the user it always should turn towards the user and that turn is very very important the technology should be for the user the manufacturing should be user centered the management principle should be user centered the cost should be centered about my customer who wants to buy i can't make the cost costly so my cost technology manufacturing all put together my flower should look towards the user and my user will be delighted to use the product because he is getting so much benefit at he gets more value for the you know for the money he pays and that delights the customer and that you know makes the project successful mm -hmm.